The RAS GTPase family is ubiquitously expressed in all cell lineages and organs. The key human members are KRAS, NRAS, and HRAS. RAS is involved in many cellular signal transduction processes. The active RAS GTPase signals other proteins to turn on genes involved in cell proliferation. The inactive state of the RAS GTPase is bound to GDP. A guanine nucleotide exchange factor can catalyze the release of GDP from the initial inactive state. Unbound RAS will preferentially bind to GTP. Once RAS is bound to GTP, it becomes active and will participate in cellular signaling. RAS can be deactivated again once hydrolyzed by a GTPase activating protein. One of the most common mutations in the RAS GTPase is the G12V. A valine codon replaces the normal glycine codon at position 12. This causes a structural and functional change to the normal RAS protein, causing a slower hydrolysis reaction. Hence, RAS stays bound to GTP for a longer time. Consider this. During normal RAS activity at concentration X, 50% of RAS proteins are bound to GTP at a given time. With mutant RAS, however, more than 50% of RAS proteins are bound to GTP at a given time. Because active RAS results in signaling of cell growth and proliferation, overactive RAS signaling will result in uncontrolled cell division and ultimately cancer.